Thank you for holding on for us for a little bit. We had a few little small issues of getting things done real quick. So uh, we're going to go into the Grand Theft Auto Vice City run now. Hello. Um, hi, my name is Menno, also known as The Amber Show. Um, behind me, there is Menno, <laughs> also known as Menno888. <laughs> so we have two Menno's in the house. And Jim, Jim B. So yeah, the, the text, as you see, is in Japanese, but that won't bother us as much, it's just because of a glitch that basically works if uh, only on the Japanese version. So if we are ready for time... Uh sure, yeah. Three, Three, two, two wait, 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 oh. wait, wait. <laughs> 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 because, <laughs> I'm sorry, but because the time starts actually after the loading screen. Oh. So I will count down, okay? Uh, Three, two, one. So we see uh, our main character is Tommy Frazetti. He has been in jail for the last 15 years, um, and he was in the popular in the north. But um, they moved him to the south because he has no reputation here, and people know him not that well. So he can build his reputation here now. So we are heading to the to the hotel right now. Um, the intro scene is basically uh, about a uh, deal that went wrong and our main goal for the first half of the game is finding out who uh, who made the deal go wrong, who shot up the deal and made us lose everything, basically. So yeah, what we're, the first thing we're going to do now is going to go to a Rampage marker and this Rampage icon um, is a small submission where you have to cause a lot of chaos. Um, so we're picking it up, then we're making a rampage. You can make a uh, replay, or we're making a replay. You can make replays in, th in this game. And that, in that replay, you can pick up a ramp rampage uh, icon. And that basically starts on a mission. And now we're getting into an ambulance. Yes. Um, and in the ambulance, you can also start a mission. And because you can load the replay and start the ambulance mission at the same time, you, we can trick the game that we're not on a mission. Oh, that's a nice <laughs> way of driving. <laughs> so I'm starting the rampage, I'm starting the ambulance mission, and that basically uh, told the game that we're not on a mission, but we actually were on a mission. We were on the rampage. And that causes us to do a lot of glitches and fun stuff. Um, so basically it's about uh, tricking the game that we're not on a mission while we're on a mission. And that allows us to do all kinds of crazy things you are about to see. So just going to the clothes store real quick, like we all do. Mm, nice fight. So basically the first mission is about uh, getting in contact with... Uh, oh, take that lamppost with me. Uh, getting in contact with uh, a boat owner called Cortez. And we, we are new to this town, so we just have to meet some people and... Uh, try to find information about who messed up our deal. Okay. I'm not a fan of this bike. Yeah, free race, pretty bad. Um, luckily, yes, it's PCJ really conveniently here. So you carry it through most of the missions coming up. So we have to uh, bring the daughter of the, the boat owner to the uh, party, basically. So difficult having a rich and powerful and you always see the timer here still going on from the Rampage mission, so he's quite a bit on on timing to get this mission um, done fast enough oh, oops. for some tricks to work. Yeah, or we basically have to start the next mission with if uh, within the timer running out, because uh, right now you can see the L on the map, and it means that we're not on a mission, so we can start a new mission, but we're still on the Rampage, so... And that's important that we started before uh, the Rampage runs out, because if it runs out, then... Um, so if it runs out now, we're right now we're on a mission, but if it runs out, we trick the game again in that we're not on a mission. So you can see again uh, the L... Oh, oops, I just was too late getting off the bike. Oh, but you can see the L uh, reappearing on the map right now. So we're heading to the Malibu right now to uh, 
to find some more information about who messed up our drug deal. We have to get out of the Malibu twice because of we are missing basically the whole game up. So Yeah, there's a dupe marker for the uh, Malibu. Uh, you can avoid it if you uh, get there in time, but I mean, it's, it's pretty difficult. Yeah, you have to be really fast and not fall off like I did. <laughs> yeah, that stretch is a uh, pedestrian hell. So we're getting a shotgun uh, that's handy for a later mission. And we're going to quickly talk to the chef for more information. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, good talk. No, that's, good talk. that's unfortunate. But we, at least we have this phone, so we can do something. And at least it didn't go up the roof. That can happen as well. This way. And right now we're clearly on a mission, but the game thinks we're not. So what we can do now is we can start a rampage again. And that's to set up the, uh, the next glitch that we're about to do. So this is our new character um, called Lens. And Lens is uh, it's an annoying guy, basically. He can ruin uh, the run in many ways, like we saw in our practice run. Yeah. He can just be like, nope, I'm not doing this. I'm yeah, he's away. supposed to follow you, but sometimes he just goes his own way and has his own little adventure, which is really nice for him, but not really for us. And basically, Lens had also a stake in the deal going wrong because his brother was killed in that deal. So he also wants to find out uh, who messed up the deal. Uh, right now we're going to the the weapon store for a little tutorial, like here can you buy uh, your weapons and and all. So we're still on the rampage, uh, and the most important thing is that we start the next mission before it runs out. And while it runs out, we start the mission again. So we duplicate the mission, and that auto completes it. But uh, we will see that soon. I'll be watching you. Oops, that's oh. unfortunate. Uh, oh, that, that should be fine. Yeah. I dodged it. <laughs> By sheer luck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a fast. You can get control there because the uh, the marker from the introduction uh, doesn't despawn there. Um, so the cutscene ends um, before the other cutscene ends with, uh, with Lance. Make can just run away. You can uh, buy yourself some time. It's, it's important not to get a cop star here, and we were really close to getting a cop star. <laughs> because uh, when you're uh, when you have a cop star, the uh, phone call won't come in, and it's essential that it comes in right now. Otherwise, we waste a bit of time. So when the timer goes to uh, three and a half seconds, I need to get into the marker, and then the the, the rampage will run out, and we start the mission again. So five. Or three. Yeah, seven and five and three, I believe, work. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, so what, what what is happening here is uh, a duplication, um, mission duplication. <laughs> Cop uh, in the way. Usually, uh, duplicating missions won't do much. Uh, in Mr. Cop, please. Cop, sorry, what is it? Uh, okay, mm. that's good. <laughs> um, so what happens is uh, you're supposed to beat up uh, two cars. Um, so when you spawn the first mission, the uh, the set of cars spawns, uh, and the second time you uh, enter the mission again, the uh, second pair of cars will fall on top and roll over, and the game thinks, oh well, that means that you destroyed them, right? And it uh, instantly passes the mission. Yeah, with that he skipped the only mission where you would have used the hammer. Yeah, this game. Yeah, the goal is to break the cars with your hammer. But less less hammer show. Oh, I, yeah, I'm, no, I'm not a tool, okay? I'm I'm a, I'm a human being. <laughs> yeah. Although back in the days, you used the uh, shotgun as well for the uh, cars. So this mission is for a new uh, guy. So the, you saw the A disappear on the map, um, which is the completely. Uh, we're not gonna do any missions with the A. Um, so we don't do the uh, the Archie Heli mission, the small helicopter that hard, everyone hard, knows. Yeah. <laughs> hard, I could never beat it as a kid, you know. And some golf missions as well. So we uh, phone calls in this game are pretty uh, annoying because you can't do anything while you're on a call and you have to take calls to progress with the game. So, uh, for example, right now um, I, I dead warp to the hotel, uh, to the hospital. And on the way, we, we used uh, the phone call because we need to do the phone call anyway. And now we're close to Cortez already, so we can start the mission uh, quickly. Can I do a donation? Yes. 
I have a an eight euro donation from Hub Keine Name saying fourteen hundred euro hype. Also, red for the win. Putting the shovel knight color uh, as red boy. Eight uh, eight euros with pink thread on six. So, if you want to see pink thread, donate for that one. Okay, right now um, in this mission we have to uh, basically kill a guy for Cortez with our uh, chainsaw. Um, and right now we are making a replay um, because um, later here uh, cut. Uh, cutscene can be triggered when you pick up an, uh, a weapon. So we pick up the weapon in the cutscene and we get basically warped to the cutscene. Uh, yeah, so this is basically the drive to the to kill the guy that we are supposed to kill. Because we deal with people like that. We don't talk to them, we just run up and chainsaw them in half. Ooh. This direct can be pretty finicky. Well, kicking tunes are playing in the background. This That's game has true. some awesome soundtracks. Yeah. Yeah, all 80s stuff has good songs. That's it. Yeah. Okay, normally in this mission you're supposed to um, go to the... Uh, how do you call it again? The, Sorry? Yeah, the basically the garage where you uh, can lose uh, all your cop stars. But that's slow, so we hit this car. <laughs> <laughs> I found a way to dodge them. Um, so basically, we're picking up the, the cop drive to lose one star, and then we just uh, wait a bit around to get rid of the other cop star. Normally, it runs out a little bit later, but of course, I crashed into <laughs> another car. It's kind of dangerous because if you uh, hit another person or cause any other damage, then you will keep on hanging on the on the cop star. Okay, that's not a nice corner. <laughs> Just wanted to skip the phone call. Right. Careful here, because yeah. if you fall in the water, then you just die. Yeah, I think everyone has This guy the cannot before. swim. So we can cancel the phone calls by trying to get on a vehicle and then cancelling getting on the vehicle. And Cortez also doesn't really like the French, so we're about to get rid of some French guys as well. Or at least one guy. So as you see, the, the early game is kind of hectic. Like most of the things are on the timer, or you have to drive around in a fast bike. I have to actually catch up with this guy because if this guy gets on the his bike, we have to chase him, and that's that's bad. Mostly embarrassing. So we basically run up to him again, and then we just ch change all him and off and make our Cortez happy. Yeah, back in the day we get the uh, pistol at the uh, marina here. Um, but then people found out that it's way faster to not pick it up. Uh, the chainsaw is pretty good. It's pretty actually most, uh, one of the most recent changes, not getting the pistol. Just quickly starting a new mission again. Okay, so now we're getting, uh, we're using the, the replay that we made to warp to this cutscene. So we basically we picked up a weapon. Well, actually, we didn't. We didn't actually pick up the weapon because GTA Vice City. <laughs> and now we're going with Lens for some adventures again. Have to do this small trick. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get, Lens, for messing up my runs. Oh, that was. No. What was that? <laughs> yeah. So we just made a replay uh, over the clothes icon, and uh, basically what that does for us is that we can move during cutscenes by uh, loading the replay as we go into the cutscene. And that's uh, really important, we can skip a lot of things and uh, be a lot quicker because of that. Yeah, and picking up the, uh, the clothes um, will also um, diminish your one to level if you have a two or a one star one to level. 
You must be called Tethys. Which I don't know if that is used in the run. Not really. Uh, no, I don't think you, you can use it, but both get a good point. Okay. I, I think I never use it that way. No, it can sometimes be helpful. So this is just an outer scroller. Um, so what we do is we gonna get some grenades. And the only thing that's important, and which I failed into the practice run, was that you have to keep uh, looking uh, at the mission while you're here. So just gonna jump a bit around to get to the grenades while the whole shooting is gonna happen. Oh, that was close actually. <laughs> Not nervous for this? Okay, it goes fine. Everything's fine, Lance. So we're gonna get rid of these guys and then. Gonna get this weapon real quick. Get rid of some other guys. Yeah, there's not much to say in this mission actually. It's just getting <laughs> killing everybody. Like the psychopath Tommy Versetti does. Can I quickly plug something then? Um, uh, wait one uh, second. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> because one second. we're gonna use the cloth icon for the for the first time now. Oh, we're gonna right. move into the cutscene. If everything goes well. Oh, that didn't oh, work. I don't, yeah, I don't think mm. it worked. Sorry. So we're gonna chase him, and uh, donations is uh, fine. Okay. Sorry for that one. <laughs> um, so once again, I would like to call upon the Shovel Knight um, color incentive. Uh, it will end at the uh, it will the cutoff point is at the end of this run. So if you want to change anything, go ahead uh, and donate for that now. Uh, we're also having a bit war for saving or killing the knights in that run as well. Currently, saving the um, uh, knights is ahead by a single euro. So uh, if you would rather see some dead knights, uh, go ahead and donate for that one. All right. Okay, the second time we're going to use this. Okay, this one actually worked. Take heads, and it's all down to you. What is your so name? I'm getting on a bike now, uh, hopefully. Yes. Soon, amigo, I think. Driving off. Shit. Where's that guy, Lance? You actually skip another uh, part. Normally you have to wait around a little because uh, he drives away in the cutscene, but right now uh, we triggered the, the line a little bit earlier. Okay, so we're gonna do some other glitch right now. And it's basically getting through the, this. That's called gate zip. Um, the game doesn't really know where to put us. Oh, he doesn't stop. So, a lot just happened, um, so the game doesn't know where to put us, so uh, the game puts us in a fallback position, which is uh, surprisingly uh, at the end of the gate. Um, so you get a phone call immediately to open the gate, but this is just a little bit faster for us. And what I also did is um, I glitched the car, so this game can only have a few cars into memory. So right now there's less cars on the road because he's stuck in the void forever. And we're gonna see him again soon. Because he will be there till the end of the game, basically. Yeah, it'll stay there uh, until you reload the game. Um, generally you need about four four to five cars to uh, completely uh, erase, all, uh, erase all traffic. Oh, also, no, in, in this good. case you could uh, use yeah, the yeah, uh, yeah. closer. Right. It will put you in uh, Flintstone mode, though. That actually helps a lot because the poli police is not nice in this mission. No. Didn't see much of Flint Flintstones. No, no, sadly. Um, what happens is that the uh, controls get uh, reversed. I mean, I don't know how it works. Um, like, you, you can know the equivalent by uh, thinking of the PS2 controls. Um, so, for instance, driving, uh, you would use the X on uh, PlayStation. Um, and then the equivalent of asshole. X, which is uh, sprinting, uh, becomes the uh, standard. So in that case, uh, in Flintstone mode, you would use uh, the sprint button instead, mm -hmm. which does not make sense. Uh. Well, the funniest part comes up in oh, the fifth mission. <laughs> We're doing a little bit of a roulette here. So 
Takes a control again with a, a close replay. Okay. Just you in should the be cutscene. Right? Yeah, yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this go. normally goes a little bit That's more fine. smooth. So what actually happened, because of uh, we abuse sprinting by tapping it instead of holding it, and that's why we can sprint for as long as we want, basically. So normally you're behind the, the guy and can't keep up with him, and you have to chase him all the way through town. That's why it's, this mission is called the chase. But now, we, with the trick we did, we hijacked the car, and basically he's just sitting here like that. Oops. He is not going anywhere. No, he's just sitting there, okay, this is my life now. Yeah, you can even leave the car with that. <laughs> Thanks for... Give me five stars, please. And yeah, also this car is uh, called Super Heavy. Uh, has a Super Heavy property. So it would just fall through the, uh, through the ocean. Yeah, normally you would die if you touch the water. Mm -hmm. and uh, Because Tommy Rossetti can't swim, so he just drunks every time. And with this, you skip this area where you would normally drunk and just fall into the void until the game puts you into this new island position. So we're not supposed mm -hmm. to be here, of course, because we just fell through the water and did all kind of crazy things. So we're getting the helicopter now, and the helicopter is really convenient in this game, because we need to go acro across islands all the time. So actually, this is a huge time save for us to get a helicopter already. Yeah, I think in general, in a run, you would like to keep it for at least 20 to 30 minutes or something. It is uh, really handy. And now the good music is replaced by cop calls. Yeah. Sally. I mean, they are funny. So the landing can be quite tricky on this helicopter. But let's hope it all goes fine. Oh, that's not good. Okay. This is looking great. Okay, land it. Okay, what I did there is uh, normally you can do anything during phone calls. You cannot run as well. But if you scope during taking the phone call, you can actually sprint and shoot around and uh, well in the phone call. And that makes us a lot faster. Let's see if we can glitch another car. He's still there standing. No. So the early game is kind of hectic, and uh, there's a lot of glitches and stuff happening at the same time. But the mid-game, fortunately, is a lot more uh, relaxed. Um, there's a lot more uh, times I don't have to do anything, basically. Just sit here in the helicopter and shoot up some people. So uh, because of the close replay, we can do this. So I load the close replay, I do right-click, and now I can freely move around and shoot with a speed of light, basically. Um, and normally you can just move around like this, and you, it's, it makes the game, uh, or the, it makes mission so much easier. Because like a few bullets already blow up the ship, if I'm in range. <laughs> yeah, and this mission is already easy on PC. Um, they didn't really do anything to uh, accommodate for the uh, PS2 to PC change. My health is actually kind of low, so it's ca it can be quite sketchy soon. Yeah, there is some uh, some health mm. near the fountain as well. If you want. So we're just uh, shooting up uh, the houses, basically, and the the heli will move on if we killed every everybody. So it's kind of an outer scroller, but uh, you have to kill everybody for it to move on. Get the guy there. Okay. So now it's that building and the end of that building. And then behind there's another building. Refire these guys. Okay, I'm actually, you, what you can do now is shoot lens, <laughs> yeah. uh, but I'm not going to do it because if you are frame, a few frames too late, um, you can soft lock and <laughs> that's not fun yeah. at the to force. It's pretty lock. easy, but I mean, you don't want to mess it up. Um, if you're lucky, the uh, helicopter will and flip and you'll die, uh, but in the worst case scenario, you'll soft lock the game and uh, yeah, we don't have backup saves, I don't think so. 
Yeah, and the or time save is a few seconds, yeah. uh, so it's maybe not even that. So, so let Lance live. Yep, we spared him <laughs> for once. Yeah, I think someone mentioned it. you can kill him. I, th I think four times in the run. Um, so mm -hmm. you have that mission where you can just shoot him out of the helicopter and he's fine with it. Um, there's a later mission when he's in a boat and like before the uh, fade out you can kill him, and then he just lies dead in the water and it's fine. Uh, and then there's a third time where uh, I believe the uh, Copland, you can chainsaw him to death right uh, before the cutscene starts and he's also dead. Uh, so yeah, there's a, a lot of ways to kill Lance. Uh, yeah, we, we, we don't him. like Lens at all, so nope. we try to kill him as much as possible, if time allows us to. So. so basically now we're doing uh, missions for DS, and DS is uh, our second contact, where we work for. Oh, let's get this boat quickly. And he, he wants a boat apparently. He has this big mansion and a dock, so he, he figures he, he wants a boat. I also picked up uh, uh, some life, some health points, because it was truly kind of low for this mission. They didn't hit me now, but if I didn't pick it up, so I would probably get it. Also, the only thing that you needed to do there uh, with the boat is just press enter when you're near it. Uh, the yeah, game teleports you. You're not supposed to do that, but you can just get in the boat from uh, from that that point. It just warps you in the boat and it goes down. So uh, soon a uh, phone call will come up, so while that phone call is going, we uh, get into this maze, because mazes are fun. And there's a weapon here, but mainly because mazes are fun. So wait for the call, glitch it. Tommy, it's me, Colonel Cortez. Look, senor, I believe you are a man who can get things done. So please help me. You can find me at the boat, huh? So yeah, the next mission is uh, is about um, again shooting some guys up for for our friend Diaz, who has some problems with some other guys. But um, actually, we already found out that Diaz was behind our uh, lens. Is telling what I'm supposed to tell now? Yeah, I think um, Cortez tells you in a mission that we haven't done yet, oh which yeah. is pretty weird. Um, so Diaz was behind it all, but we're still working for him a little bit. But it will soon change. So enjoying some good tunes. Can I do a quick donation? Yes. We have 10 euros from Delaney saying, Good luck, handsome Menno, smiley face. Thank you, Delaney. Watch yourself, they're coming from all over. Got him. So we're doing the same as in uh, the helicopter mission, Phnom Penh. Uh, we can ju just load the close replay again and then uh, right click and then we shoot at the speed of light again. I think it's uh, one bullet per frame. And normally you're yeah. locked in the... Uh, uh, you're locked as well so you can move around freely like I can now. <laughs> quick dance. So yeah, this makes the mission a lot easier. You can just shoot out on the helicopter immediately. And normally it hangs around for, for a while. And you're getting shot. You want some of this? Yeah. I'm not killing this guy yet because uh, if we kill him now, Lens just rides over it and flips us and kills us both, like he loves to do. He can still do it, but let's hope he doesn't. <laughs> He's on a mission. Also, on the right, you can see the uh, the guy in concrete coming up, like right here. Oh, Lens. Careful. Lens. Okay. Yeah. So when we get close to the to the dock, our cutscene starts, so we load the close replay again. Now. And now we can move and get into our helicopter, not walk into the water. Yes, we got into it at a copper. Okay, Mr. Lance Vance Dance. So, up to Cortez again. 
And Cortez um, really likes to have a tank for some reason. So that's what we do. We go and get him a tank. I mean, it sounds fun. Yeah. yeah. Also, you can skip the phone call if you're pretty fast. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm yeah. not fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to get in the helicopter really quickly to. Oh, well, pretty skip okay. Take off, I think. I mean, why don't you want a tank if you see a nice military parade? Yeah, sure. Just yeah. out there. I mean, for some reason. I mean, Tommy is going to show you how it's done. I mean, it's not that difficult. Yeah, you would think the military is well trained for people like this, but... There's many ways to get this one. Oh yeah, well, first we have the uh, replay. Oh. So we're gonna stop here and make a replay over the the buy. So we can buy this uh, from not being here later. That's really convenient. So up onwards to the tank. There's plenty of ways to steal things as well. Um, you can uh, put a car in front mm. of it and... The guy will try to get out and you can get in. Um, well, you can see the uh, what we're going to do here. Um, you can wait until they stop for uh, for donuts. <laughs> and then you can get in. I yeah. actually didn't know that. Yeah, it's like uh, right at the end where you're... Uh, well, you've probably seen the donut shop before. That is actually where the uh, Surya Surf mission comes from. He's like, go get some donuts in the Surya Surf. So we shoot backwards to propel ourselves forwards, and by that uh, tank is one of the fast, or is it the fastest vehicle in, in Vice City? Because um, you can just keep shooting and keep building speed. That might be true, yeah. What I know is not true is that uh, if you go fast enough you can fly, that is not true. So the military suddenly uh, thought like, okay, we're done with this guy, he's in a garage, we, we can't do anything anymore. So they just stopped and they don't care about us anymore. They're all gone. Go on with your day. Okay, this is some time to glitch some more cars because we need around four uh, to be safe. Not having cars on the road is uh, is really nice playing this game because cars can do all kinds of weird things. Yeah, there's also another reason which we'll uh, we'll go over later. In the middle of something and meanwhile, this is one of the, of the longest phone calls in the game. So we use that time to sprint to our heli. We're going to have to do it, because otherwise we're going to be dead, Lance. Yeah, so uh, Lance has a difficult relationship with our hero, even though he wasn't killed that often yet. No, he he starts to get worse and worse, but we will see that soon. So right now, there's not yet a mission coming up. But um, we're going there preemptively because the phone call will come up as we land. So we're going to take the phone call, then immediately start the mission, and we'll see what happens. You can even save some more time here by uh, pressing F1. Uh, the blades will keep spinning uh, because you're watching the replay, but the uh, phone call will go on. Yeah, so, that's so nice you can save. immediately take off, but it's not easy to do. It is finicky, yeah. yeah. You most likely lose time by doing it. Okay, so Lens uh, just got himself kidnapped and he's getting tortured right now by uh, our friend Diaz because, yeah, Diaz messed up our deal and we found out and we don't have a good relationship anymore. So this is really convenient that we have the helicopter. Normally you have to go here by car and that's, that's not nice because they will chase you and it's the game or the mission can be horrible if you don't have the helicopter. Let's land this thing. Okay, around here should be fine. Should be good. The helicopter can despawn, so it's really tricky. Shoot this guys. Be careful not to shoot lens. 
Oh, he's doing a little nap. Oh, he woke up. So this is one of the missions where Lens can be really annoying. Uh, Lens teleports, he teleports into vehicles that he can get out of. He, he goes his own way sometimes. So we're gonna look back at him and hope that he follows us. Come on, Lens. Let's go. Yeah. Yes, yes, he's coming. In this mission, he's pretty fun. He's coming. Oh, oh, he did a quick jump. Is he coming? Lens, yes. Okay. Get in, Lens. Ooh. Okay, we got Lens. But yeah, you saw he, ca he can do all kinds of crazy things. He can jump four meters through the air. And but we got him into the vehicle. And we're going to bring him to the, uh, to the hospital now. Because he didn't look that all right. Careful, mister. Oh, he's down. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, we have to get in and out of the uh, helicopter here. Because uh, when you use a vehicle for a mission... Oh, quick spin. When you use a vehicle for a mission, it will despawn. It will be counted as a, as a mission uh, vehicle. And then the cleanup scripts will run over it and then it will be gone. But if we get in and out, it's no longer dead, so we can still use it. And right now we're gonna have a quick talk with our friend DS, who just is not our friend im anymore, basically. Especially Lance doesn't like him anymore. Can I do a quick donation again? Uh, yes. I've got five euros from Bad RNG saying, Love for Kenin. Heart. Thank you. Tommy, Tomas, it's Cortez. Look, the French are giving me all kinds of trouble, amigo. Get me quickly. So now the thing you can do is, is uh, sliding. If you um, press a replay right after switching weapons, uh, turning weapons, you can slide. Uh, and you can even elongate that uh, that slide if you, uh, um, while holding forward, uh, press the replay and then stop holding forward and then uh, press replay again. So you can uh, slide into the, uh, Don't worry, well, Tommy. Uh, from the cutscene. Uh, right there, we didn't get to see it though. Uh, and this wall doesn't exist. Come on, get into there. If you e get it right. Usually. Just a little more time. Oh. Get into it. Okay, wait. Uh, it's quite hard. Lance is being yes. a bit of an idiot. Uh, uh, should be fun. Yeah, it's fine. So we uh, chainsaw him through the wall and then we're gonna walk into the marker that we... And the game freaks out and just ends the mission, basically. But yeah, I don't think you're, uh, that was intended by Rockstar. Quite sure they, that was not intended. No, you're supposed to go all the way to the back and then there's a cutscene. Um, basically where you ended the mission and then Diaz comes out and then you kill him. So, uh, right now we just took over. Um, we took over the mansion, because that's how it goes in Vice City. You kill the owner and then you can just live in his house. And because of we are in charge, uh, Tommy wants to let everybody know that he's in charge. And his way of doing it is going to the mall and shooting windows. I mean, it's a weird flex, but That'll okay, teach Tommy. Him. That'll teach him. And people are getting really upset if if you should shoot their windows. We destroy their whole lives by doing it. Yeah, you'll hear that from uh, from some store owners. Like this one right here. Oh, poor guy. That were his favorite windows. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure nothing worse will happen to the uh, Tarper's Cafe. Nah. I think this is the worst that can possibly happen to him. Yeah. So what I'm doing uh, sometimes is I'm uh, uh, pressing F1 and that let, uh, lets the weapon automatically uh, recharge it. Um, so, I don't, it so I don't take time recharging it. I just bought some extra grenades because... Uh, 
It can be tricky having only four grenades. Does it work? Yeah. So just a few more windows and then cops flying around everywhere. Two more. Yes. It's the last one. So we're gonna get into this car. After we complete the mission. This guy, I don't know what he's doing. Please don't. Please don't. Okay, this is kind of tricky. Yeah. So I made a there replay over the buy, and while loading the replay, you can also buy the uh, buy the estate, and that also warps you into the uh, into the cherry poppers that we just bought. And now the game thinks we're still in the mall, so you can hear the the mall sound going still. Oh, I have to yeah, lose the the cop star because uh, oh, yeah, some yeah. cobble coming up. Oh, that's not that nice. That is not gonna do it. Um. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. I can. You could technically save or reload. Mm. So we're gonna walk into this building and restore everything to uh, to the normal. Pick up the. Oh clothes. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you can do the clothes replay as well. Oh. Tommy son, have I got a surprise for you? I'm done and we're gonna start the next mission. Major artists, why don't you pass a visit? You know it makes sense, don't ya? See you later. But the game still thinks we're in the mall, and we're gonna abuse that later. Basically, we're gonna uh, be in the mall for, I don't know, like eight more minutes. So in this mission, uh, we're gonna talk with some guys again, how we do. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna kill them and see what happens. There is a snipe uh, that comes later and it, that snipe is really tough and you really don't want to shoot the tires because in this game you can only uh, hold three vehicles. And our helicopter is right now at the mall, and that's really important because we need to escape with that one later. But if we get on uh, an extra vehicle, then it will despawn because you can only hold three. So talk with these guys. So if you uh, hit the tires of the of the guys that we are about to snipe, then you have to take uh, one of the buys basically, and that's can be really awful. So shoot these guys. Oh, that poor guy. I didn't mean to kill him. Oh, Ooh, so we're gonna... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what we find. Okay, go, go, go. So that grenade tri triggered the cutscene, and now we're gonna hopefully snipe them. That's one. Okay, let's you can actually use the sniper. No, we're gonna have to chase him. I was clearly hitting him. So there's some scripted cops that come flying by from the right, so I'm just going through the grass. But it's already nice that I uh, my tires are still uh, healthy. Oh, that, <laughs> that was, went yeah. surprisingly well. So a healthy bike, and now we're ready to do Copland. Copland is basically a mission where we uh, we have five stars and we have to get to a certain location with lands, and that can be awful as well. But this is the nice thing that we glitched all the cars. Uh, there are barely cars on the road, and normally you would be uh, overloaded with cars. But it helps it a lot. But there's still uh, oh, oh, that could be bad. Yeah. That's a good one. So we're gonna quickly run inside and uh, make a save over the the save. We're gonna make a replay over the save icon, and uh, by loading a replay later, we can warp back into the mansion, which is really convenient. Uh, also, I think the bike might despawn because of the fact that you uh, uh, complete the mission on the bike. Oh yeah, it is. It's gone. Uh, Oh no. Yeah, it is gone. 
Ah, yeah, it's right, because uh, of earlier we got in and out of the alley. Okay, Lance, do your thing. Get in. Oh, you got oh. in. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. No, it's good. Sketchy enough. But yeah, we saw with the alley, we got in and out because of the cleanup script, and I totally forgot about that one. <laughs> so actually, the bike got cleaned up by the, by the game. Okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> that works, I guess. So basically, nice we're gonna get into a garage and uh, lure some cops in, and then uh, uh, we're gonna take their uniforms. Okay, come on, come on. Can barely talk during this mission. Yeah, those cops are uh, are at it today. Hello, welcome back to Okay, uh, so lure them into the garage. So basically the reason why we got five stars is if you go uh, in the mall with uh, with no cop clothes, uh, you'll get five stars. And the game still thinks we're in the... In the keep hidden. Poor Lance. His <laughs> treatment here. Oh, nope. oh I almost <laughs> yeah. killed him. If you kill him, then the mission fails. So that was actually kind of close. But damn you, Lance. Uh, I was explaining something, but I forgot what I was explaining. Oh yeah, um, we got the cop stars because of we were still in the mall. Kill this guy. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna get him from the other side. Yeah, that's probably better. That's probably safer. Normally on our bike, and uh, there's two guys that do a lot of damage. And um, if you're on a the bike, they will focus on the bike and not on you. But if they shoot you, they can do a lot of damage. So I'm gonna snipe them from here. And there's another one. Did I hit him? No, but no. it's fine. Okay. So this poor guy who just repaired his windows is now getting more fun. Oh. Yeah, there it is. Cafe is now totally gone. Okay. Um, Lens, please work with me. He's actually following me, following me this run. He's being a good guy. Yeah, he's being okay. He's behaving. Um, he can do weird things. He can just um, run out. He can go into the mall, back into the mall, and just run away. Um, he can teleport under this uh, sort of alcove. Um, he, he can do loads of things. Yeah, the b I got the bad luck of, out of the way in the practice run, where he just started burning everywhere. <laughs> he's not supposed to. But yeah, fortunately, because we had uh, the helicopter there, we could swiftly escape from the... How many stars? Five stars? Yeah. If you have to escape by car, it's almost impossible. Yeah. Soon we'll be, have, we'll be having to say goodbye to the helicopter. So that's Copland. Uh, Copland is one of the most catchiest... Uh, most of the sketchiest missions in this game. So glad we got that one. <laughs> okay, right now we're going to the uh, print works. And um, we're basically going to abuse the on and off mission again to our extent. And we're going to set it up uh, at first by going here. Oh, we don't need the alley anymore, so we can crash it. Uh, glitch the phone call. Now I'm gonna load the replay that I made in the mansion. So um, when I go back to the the island, I will warp into the into the mansion. I'm gonna create a replay here over the rampage icon, and I'm gonna use that one to trick the game again that we're not on a mission. And while we have the rampage run. And doing that trick, I'm gonna save first because I can risk losing two minutes. And now I'm gonna jump into the save and uh, load the replay at the same time. And that uh, makes it believe that we're not on a mission while the rampage is running. But now we're on the timer again. 
Uh, generally, we want to uh, complete this mission before it runs out, because there's a small chance that you can softlock. And that's not fun, so let's focus on that first. Shooting that taxi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah there's that, always a fight going on there. That taxi can actually blow up. People uh, do not it like happens it to either. people. And what happens then? Is your mission just gone? Uh, the taxi is gone. I mean, you can still go to the uh, Malibu. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's not mission field uh, yet. No. Okay, I'm quickly getting some more um, some more health because the uh, the people that we're supposed to, or that we're going now uh, can do a lot of damage to you. They can do 200 damage, so it's not totally safe, yeah. even with this amount of armor and uh, health. Yeah, and you're on a pretty strict timer as well. Um, you want to get onto the boat that you're visiting um, before the rampage timer runs out. Otherwise, you can softlock the game again. Yeah, and it shows again how convenient it is that there's so so uh, is that there's not so much traffic right now. Because if you're on a timer and there's cars everywhere, it's uh, it's horrible. So I'm gonna quickly talk with somebody, with the captain in the boat, but I have to run uh, past some very really angry guys. Oh, there was a mad one. Oh, no, the police don't block me. Mm. Oh, oh, this is oh, bad. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Sketchy. Uh. Get on the stairs. Should be fine, though. Yeah, okay. That's good. I was scared for a minute, because if he starts shooting you, you can just die within a second. Yeah, they've got um, MP5 in there. Lethal. So like you see, okay, mm. nice slide. <laughs> Stuck on the rail. Like you see, it was pretty tight uh, before killing the guy. And if you are too late, uh, we you can soft lock, so that's not what you want. Okay, we have two uh, cop stars, so we're gonna get rid of them. Uh, and there's luckily there's two cop rides, which which loses a star for you. So there's one here and one just a bit ahead. Let's hope there's not a car crushing me into me. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so um, I also made a. A replay over the safe so I can uh, get here fast basically and now I really have to focus so if somebody else could do the explanation of this yeah of course um, so this is an interesting one so generally you're not supposed to be able to start uh, two missions two different missions at the same time uh, we're doing it here anyway uh, hit the career and uh, cherry poppers which we bought um, so basically what happens is that there's two mission scripts, one for Hit the Courier and one for uh, for this mission, uh, Distribution. And um, basically the scripts line up so that uh, the uh, script from Hit the Courier uh, lines up with the Distribution missions. And it sees that the uh, address is the same as the uh, mission pass address for, uh, for Cherry Poppers for Distribution. And so th you can instantly pass it. Uh, then he's doing a trick to uh, hold the phone call again and uh, make it on mission zero again. Then he's warping back um, and starting the mission again. And uh, we're going to do that five times. So this is going to be number two coming up. Yeah, the counting of this is the worst. <laughs> I always forget <laughs> how much uh, times I did it. Yeah, you think that counting to five is easy. But no, it's uh, the hardest pressure, thing of the game. Under pressure, it's really difficult. Uh, so that was two. Sonny. Um, well, I mean, we've got three people here, yeah. and you as well, so we should be good. Yeah, but uh, what this uh, does is it, it increases encounter. That is important for the story. Yeah. That you have to have five main um, buildings. Yeah, you have to have the uh, Fracetti uh, asset, so the uh, Barbara on Copeland. Um, you need to have done the uh, the print boards, which we're uh, we're going to do in a minute. Uh, one of them is hit the career, and one of them was uh, spilling the beans. Uh, that was three, by the way, right? Thanks you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Already forgot it. Yeah, that's the thing. Now I'm focusing as well. <laughs> and um, I need five other uh, assets. Uh, in this case, it's five distribution uh, assets. The game doesn't really check uh, whether uh, it's been completed. It just holds a counter how many there are. Yeah, so, so you can do here five times the same mission, yeah, or cheat for beating the same mission yeah. here. So yeah, that was four. So the last asset, right? With you. I mean, I'm yeah. not, yes, I'm yes, not yes, being yes. aware of. Yeah, <laughs> I'm Good. pretty sure that was four. 
Oh, the rain just started. Rain is really annoying in this game, especially in this mission, so it's, yeah. I'm glad it was so late already. Yeah, it's very late. It takes a while to get a bit slippery, uh, so this should be good. Yeah, yeah weather is on a cycle, so it will always be at the same uh, point in time. And if you're slow, you go. get the rain, <laughs> basically. Okay, so that is at least five assets done. Uh, yes. So we got a call all the time by Sonny, and Sonny. he's kind of mad that we ignored him for all this time. Oh, Sonny, please. Yeah, he's not really happy. Huh? Not happy. So Sonny is the guy that actually sent us to uh, to the south to take it over. And now we did that, and we're not keeping in contact with him anymore. So he's really angry about that one. Yeah, we're using on mission zero here again to uh, take, I think, the longest phone call in the game. Yeah. Or at least the one in the story. Uh, the uh, angry lands call. Yeah, while you're on a call, uh, NPCs will not shoot you or attack you at all. So that's really convenient, and we're gonna abuse that fact. I'm just gonna park my bike nicely. We're gonna get a phone call and glitch it. Tommy, we gotta talk about stuff. Uh, also, in this game, there can't be two lines at the same time. So, while triggering this uh, this girl's message, uh, we skip lines in the in the phone call. But we want the phone call to be as long as the helicopter getting here. Because we have to kill the uh, the girl that's inside the uh, the helicopter and get the package, but they are not doing anything to us because we're on the call. They have uh, manners. Yeah, they're pretty useful. There's some uh, sniper rifles, uh, some Uzis, uh, some shotguns. Just relax. Take a few days off. Okay? I'll talk to you. Okay, now get away. Yeah, that this can be tricky as well because they have sniper indeed. Just gonna dodge them. Good. Okay, we're gonna warp back to the uh, to the print works again, but we have to get into the zone first, and that's right about here. And we're gonna wait for a phone call. Um, we're gonna jump in over the marker if the uh, if the call is about to to run out because we don't want to start it again. Because the mission, or the, uh, we can dupe the mission again, and that's what you don't want. So if you stand in the marker, the mission will start again, and that's uh, that's awful, basically. Have to get, uh, actually remember to get on the bike here because it is counted as a mission vehicle. So if I didn't do that, then it would despawn. And now we basically uh, wait around for the for the next phone call. Um, that starts our next mission. And that can take uh, a couple of seconds. Yeah, if you get this phone call, you at you'll at least know that you've uh, gotten the tubes correctly. There you go. Hey, hello, Tommy, Tommy. We got a situation over at Printwork. You better go and check it out. Wow, it's some kind of mess or other. Things are messed up. I so in this mission, uh, people want to collect our, uh, our assets. And we don't want that. So we're going to take care of them. And for some reason, they get stuck. <laughs> I don't know why they get stuck. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't really understand either. Um, um, but generally, that, that is also one of the reasons why you don't want uh, too much traffic on the road. Uh, if they do get uh, deviated by the traffic, um, they will get off. And uh, since this is the only taxable asset, uh, the mission will instantly fail. So yeah, doing this uh, without glitch cars is... Uh, Basically impossible. Okay, these guys come up. Anyway, soon. You killed Sonny. Stay away. And then it's one more. One more bicycle with two guys. And sometimes they uh, they crash into a pole, and it's pretty funny to see. So. Yeah. I'm gonna stand in front of that. Normally you stand a little bit further, so you can shoot them a little bit earlier. But they are That's the best. It. Yep. Hey. <laughs> that happens all the time. And it makes the, the snipe a lot easier, because it's not really a snipe anymore. 
Okay, that was actually already the second last uh, mission. Uh, remember that we uh, made a replay over the save icon, so hopefully we will uh, warp back into the mansion if we get uh, to the area. But I will stay on my bike, because sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah, there's some weird thing where um, if, for, if you, for instance, uh, during this time pick up uh, 15 money icons, yes. uh, it, it won't load you uh, into the mansion. Uh, it's got something to do with the memory. Right and there we go, last mission. What's going on? Yeah, in this mission, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to not touch our mouse. Because if you don't uh, move your mouse, then no one will spawn. Normally, all Sonny's uh, minions will spawn and start shooting us with heavy machinery. But uh, we enjoy the silence, so we will just stand here for, what is it, a minute? About a minute, yeah. So if there's a donation or anything, then... Well, I've got a wonderful anonymous five euros uh, saying a great GTA run and very good commentary. Thanks Thank to the you. runner and the commentators on the couch. Oh, that's nice. So we're waiting around for Lens here. Uh, that donation also put uh, killing the knights ahead of saving them, so... <laughs> Apparently the runner is very happy about that. Any time now? Maybe Lens is Lock. traffic is delayed. Okay. No one to cover your ass now, eh, Tommy? You're going down, you backstabbing <coughs> prick. Oh, you think so? Okay, so we're gonna try and chainsaw him right here. And Yay. Nice. So now it's just uh, waiting for the next guy to come, uh, Sonny. So these guys just want our money, they don't really care about us, so we're gonna shoot them here. Oh. Uh, yeah. There's, I have a lot of health still, so I will probably be fine. Yeah. But you want to take care of as much of people as you can. Yeah. We need to kill Lance. Um, it'll give you. Okay, I'm actually getting quite low. I'm just gonna get it for safety. There's there's some health yeah, lying good. around there, and you get armor and health for the uh, for the Lance fight. Um, you get oh. it for the uh, Sunny fight as well. So. Yeah. So we just is here anytime soon now. Let's move around. Okay, so um, time comes up after uh, we kill him and then it fades out. So close to getting on time. Getting my weapon and shooting him and time. So yeah, that was GTA Vice City, no SSU. Yeah, 101 44. I mean, it's pretty okay time. Pretty good. Yeah, it was better than the oh practice God, run. Tom, yeah. Lens B8, so uh, it was actually not that bad. Like? Yeah, it was doing pretty alright. Like you good your old Lens. Tommy, that was a beautiful suit. So, Tommy, what on earth just watched happened? the final cutscene right now, and a disagreement with a business it's not much to add to it. You know how it is. Tommy. Our lawyer's a little bit freaked I out. Send them an angry letter. Maybe I pee in their mailbox. I don't start World War III. You know, maybe you should speak to my shrink. That stupid prick, Lance. Tommy, I never liked that guy, okay? He's neurotic, he's insecure, he's self-centered. The guy's an asshole. I'm glad you took him out. I don't think we're going to be getting any more heat from up north either. So basically, we took There's over all of, uh, all of the south, and we killed the, the north, so... Now. Wait, does that mean what I think it means? Tommy, we're in charge. Baby. What do you think it means? That we're in charge. I mean, I mean that you're in charge. Oh, Tommy! Yeah. You know, Ken, I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful business relationship. Yeah, well, it isn't. After all, you're a conniving, backstabbing... So the credits start rolling and, and we're done. Uh, thanks for having me. I enjoyed uh, doing this run. And, and thanks for my uh, commentators for helping me out. Absolutely, it was a pleasure. So that's it.
Yes, thank you very much. I really enjoyed that one, actually. I definitely agree with the final uh, donation right there. Uh, so coming up next, we have... I should have prepared this. Oops. We have the uh, Shovel Knight uh, run uh, by Dark Coco. Uh, I believe I, uh, I was told to cut the bid war for uh, the character color as soon as possible so i'm gonna wait like one minute so if you're gonna get like a final sniping donation in uh do that right now and then i will cut it off <laughs> 